the lovely warm California weather plus the crumbling housing market has allowed us to remove 80% of the structure of a house without removing any of the comforts of a home. Yes, you can while away your golden years sitting with the breeze running through your hair, California dreaming as the entire vista of the world passes right before your eyes. Despite the sales pitch, if the myth is confirmed, the price won't go through the roof, the faulty water heater in the basement will. This is either a hot water heater or it's a bomb. If it's a hot water heater, there's no problem. It just heats the water in your house. If it's a bomb, it fails catastrophically, sending the bottom shooting out, sending the top shooting up. This floor isn't gonna offer much resistance to that water heater. The question we wanna know is, what's it gonna do when it hits this roof? Is it gonna make a nice, clean, round hole I can stare all the way into the basement through? Or is it gonna be interrupted on its journey into the sky and never make it out of the house? That's what we wanna find out. We're wired, we're plumbed, we're ready to go. All I need to do is fire the Jennies up and wait. And with that generator up and running, the heating element inside the tank begins to slowly warm the water. It's about 115 degrees. I'd say it's about time for a nice hot bath. What do you think? <laughs> Deep in Buster's basement, changes are occurring in his water heater. <laughs> changes that could affect his life. Oh, look, we've turned red. 175 PSI. Ah, the suspense is killing me. Normally, I don't like to bet on these things, but we've seen something very much like this before. And so I think it's going to make it quite a ways through the building. It might just make it out the top. Beyond that, I don't know. Wow, an actual prediction. That's awesome. Now it's really starting to accelerate. All that potential just waiting. It's really nice seeing it exposed like that, our visible house. It's really extraordinary to see the whole thing clear as day. I know. It's really elegant, isn't it? Yeah. What's interesting to me here is that this is just a transfer of energy, 325. Oh, god, it's any second now. I don't want to turn back and look at the pressure anymore. <laughs> I don't want to take my eyes off of it. Starting with the diesel fuel that's powering the generator, it's creating electricity that allows us to heat up this water in a container that releases all that energy all at once. It's really kind of interesting in a zen sort of way when you think about it. 3.30. <laughs> OK, I'm going to do some live math here. The hot water heater itself is 18 inches in diameter. Now, for the area of that, it's pi r squared, which equals 254 square inches of the bottom. Now, you've got a pounds per square inch pressure inside of 336. Multiply that by 254, you get 85 and a half thousand pounds of pressure. Let me say that again, 85 and a half thousand pounds of pressure pushing against the bottom of the heater. You would fail too. 335. Holy cow. Now that's what I call mission accomplished. I wish you could be here for this kind of explosion because when the hot water here finally blows, we're staring right at it because we know where the zone is. And the thud that comes out of it is so deeply guttural and still warm kind of thud. It's great. Watch it again. some skin there. <laughs> Looking at the damage the water heater did to the building, it left some neat holes in the first floor <laughs> and through the roof, which is no big deal. But looking more carefully, you realize what a shock the entire building took. Wow. Yeah, look at how much damage it did to the plywood right here. The cinder blocks that I put underneath the ground floor are actually shattered from the downward push. It actually lifted the entire roof off of its seat and then set it down. You know, this would pretty much ruin your house. <laughs> Look at that, man. 
It tipped the TV table over, but Buster's still in the couch. It's true that Buster is still sitting pretty, but he's got Adam to thank for that. I knew where the explosion was going to happen, and I accommodated for the explosion by moving the couch away so that it wouldn't tear Buster to shreds, and that's exactly what it did. Hot water heater went up right in front of Buster between him and the television. I have to say, I'll bet he'd have soiled pants if he had the ability to soil pants. What does all this carnage mean for our myth? I'm glad you asked. I think it handily plausibilizes it. I think, absolutely, if you manage to idiotically cap off all the safety systems on the hot water heater in the basement of your house, it's gonna go up through the floor, up through the ceiling, up through the roof, and leave a hole in its wake. Let's check out the water heater. All right. Well, there's your problem. Well, the water heater did its job pretty much on target. It went through the building just. It spun around up here, and then bam, we caught it back on our scaffolding. That's pretty hot. That's a good day. Yep, it has been a good day. A satisfying explosion or two. A new water heater rocket world record at 560 feet. <laughs> Plus a plausible conclusion to the myth that a water heater can blast through the roof of your two-story home, albeit only just. Well, that's not a bad day's work and a plausible myth to boot. Yeah, your hot water heater could just be a ticking time bomb in your basement. <laughs>